Hi. It's Skycat Live. Sorry, I lost my bell. <laughs> Hi, it's Skycat Live. How are you today? What's up? It's uh, January 11th, 2024. That is a Thursday, January 11th, 2024. It is uh, 6.15 p.m. Getting kind of a late start because I had to do something for a friend of mine. And uh, it took two hours. And then... <clears throat> uh in real life and and uh and then uh kind of had to do like winter stuff and uh, for my family and then uh and then now i am here to record a session and play some some rust and some eve and some ffxi and probably some fallout and uh so i thought i would start the session today and go for at least probably three or four hours without you know molestation or harassment from stupid fucking stream snipe pieces of shit and then uh and we'll we'll go on about our business and, and and go online and have some fun now uh <clears throat> i need to fix up this space and i'm in and i don't have much to say uh, apparently uh i think the u.s launched airstrikes in yemen today so we might go look at that uh coming up here but first i would like to get some rust stuff done and uh you can see what my priorities are like you know but i'm i'm kidding uh uh if we go home we look at youtube here I, i'm gonna get off the big screen there's not much to say i just want to say hello and, and hi guys and there's nothing really on my mind so we're just gonna get to the gaming here um so deactivate and deactivate and state of the game new world okay one day ago from new world central okay cool we'll start with this one of the things that is mm -hmm, i'm the mute and then that and then uh so uh but uh yeah we came here to see what's going on in the world today and uh so go home and we will see what is going on in the world pax day mmo real talk about monetization no north korean propaganda is getting worse. i mean yes but i mean i don't i don't know i'll watch it later north korean propaganda is getting worse u.s launches airstrike in yemen versus houthis with meet kevin Hey everyone, me Kevin here. This is breaking news right now. The United States in coordination. Thank you, me Kevin, for the excellent content from my stream. I'd like to sub to your channel. Nation with it looks like the United Kingdom are uh, striking targets in Yemen. Uh, it appears. So now we Google for U.S. strikes uh, Yemen. I just wanted to hear somebody say it, and I, I trust YouTube more than I do these guys. But let's go see U.S. British militaries of the DP News, CNN, BBC, Fox News, Telegraph, Fox News. I don't know. Let's look at videos here. It will look at sources. Mm, YouTube. You watch what though? Oh, this is CBS. I trust CBS well enough. So we could watch that one at the top, and that's probably what most of the world trusts. But we'll, we'll go back to see what else we see here. Uh, I can't see the sources because uh, I'm too zoomed in. Sorry. NBC News, YouTube, 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 Sky News, NBC News, 7 News Australia, ABC News, NBC News. we got to go through a lot before we find a trusted source anymore. Nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's do Sky News. I think that's fair enough. We'll do Sky News. I don't trust Sky News, but they'll, at least, shows they'll at least tell us what happened. Explosions in Hodeida in western yemen did uh yemen bomb new york we previously brought you a still of that this like we did certain moving images in the aftermath of that explosion one of the strikes that's taking place this evening in yemen Well, let's return now to Simon Diggins, who um, I believe is still on the line, who's a British defence attaché in Kabul from 2008 to 2010. So what interrupted our interview there, Simon, that statement from President Biden, is it as you would expect? A full explanation of what the US and its allies are doing and why i don't recall being fucking consulted about this as an american i believe it should be illegal for my fucking u.s government to go to war without my fucking permission whatever that means be it a cell phone poll or something 
connected to the IRS account or something like that. I want them to fucking pull. I want them to ask me if I want to go to war or not, because they're going to get a, like an 85% resounding. No. And then these strikes that we wake up and we hear about, they don't happen because we didn't wake up in, 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 in the middle of the night, some U S fucking politician or whatever. Or maybe it's not the middle of the night, but still like a day later, we find out that, that the U S has just gone to war with somebody. How is that? Okay. How would, how would, you know, how, I mean, like, how is that? Okay. I want, I want, I want to, I want to vote whether or not we go to war or not. What happened to fucking due process in this country? I don't want to hear about how you, you, you dropped the, the, the bomb with the Ayanola gay on, um, on, um, on Hiroshima after I wake up the next day. I want you to fucking ask me if you want to go fucking strike somebody and I'm going to resoundly slap your hand and say no no i'm gonna take i'm gonna roll up the fucking newspaper and i'm gonna slap biden on the nose and i'm gonna slap trump on the nose and i'll be like no bad boy bad no war no bad dog bad no war it's like and they're like dogs chasing a tire they wouldn't know what to do if they caught it you know what i'm saying they're fucking dogs just chasing some fucking tire i can't stand them and it's like i wake up and you've gone to war with fucking yemen when was i consulted i'm an american i voted all my fucking life i've never been a fucking felon i have a say in whether the u.s goes to war or not i want to know if you go to war or not not when i'm sleeping i want you to wait i want you to say okay americans we're gonna ruin the secret but i mean it wasn't a secret it was gonna be a secret pass today anyways we're gonna strike yemen and we need your approval for this and i would say a resounding absolutely fuck no absolutely fuck no you warmongering democrat pieces of shit fuck your fucking warmongering democratic fucking democrat pieces of shit taking us to war with yemen fuck your fucking democrat piece of shit Rep fucking Re you know republicrat party i you both take us to war overseas all the fucking time and i swear to god if you don't start fucking asking me my opinion if you don't start asking me about my fucking vote i will oust you warmonger I will oust you. You're always sending us to fucking Afghanistan and fucking Yemen and fucking Kosovo, fucking Gulf War. What the literal fuck is wrong with you? What in the literal fuck is wrong with you? We don't live there. It's not our fucking problems. They need our help, yeah, but we obviously can't go play world police. America, fuck yeah. Gonna save the day for the motherfucking day, yeah. America, global police, fuck yeah. No, I don't want that shit from you. The South Park didn't want that from you. The people don't want that from you. What the fuck happened to you? We don't want war from you. Why did I wake up and we've gone to war to Yemen today? It kind of seems like why I went to bed and we were peaceful Americans last night. When I woke up, we were warlike Americans. Maybe consult us first, you fucking piece of shit, traitorous, backstabbing, warmongering pieces of shit. I told you before, I'm gonna fucking tell you again, motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you again, okay? Don't start caves. Don't start cave wars while we're still stuck in the fucking cave. I wanna go to the moon. I don't want to fucking start some dirt war full of shit back in the cave. I want to start a fucking a push to the moon. I don't fucking want to see you talking about invading Yemen while I'm sleeping. I don't want to see your traitor fucking American pig dog fucking politician asses sending us to fucking war without my fucking permission as the American public. I don't want to hear about that. I want to wake up and CNN's telling me that we went to war. I say yeah against our own government because that would be the only statement that made sense. Yeah, please stop engaging us in fucking foreign wars or I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'll take your head myself. Stop engaging us in wars overseas. Now, you Democrat fucking traitor. Stop it now. And yeah, I'm going to publish this tonight. You better fucking believe it. You Democrat and Republican traitors, stop sending us to war. Stop doing it. I don't want to wake up and we've gone to war with Yemen. I'm sorry. I'll wake up and you're not in the fucking White House anymore. More like it. Wake up and you're not the government anymore. More like it. You know what I'm saying? You send us to war one more fucking time without my fucking permission. I'll actively go to war with you. Yeah, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm kidding, but that's literally how I feel. If you send me to war again without my fucking permission or my say-so or even my know-how, 
I don't care if there's secrets or things to be observed or whatever. We are the fucking American public. We deserve to know every fucking bullet, every fucking missile, every fucking bomb that you fucking fire way, way, way before you fire it. And I'm sick of your fucking, oh, sorry, guys, we dropped a nuclear bomb and told you afterwards. Or, oh, sorry, guys, we went to Yemen and war, to war with Yemen and, and, and told you afterwards. Some insurgents or some fucking people are fucking with us. So now we got a Cold War again or something. And it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Stop sending us to foreign wars while we're sleeping. Stop dropping bombs while we're sleeping. Stop fucking around and not telling us what you're doing. It kind of seems like there's some kind of rogue syndicate running my fucking government committing me to foreign wars that I don't want. And it kind of really seems like that to me. I have no interest in going to war with them. I have some interest in going to war with you. If you keep committing to us to this stupid Middle East bullshit. Stop sending shit overseas. Stop sending me to war without my permission. I want to vote next time or I'll vote you out. I'll vote you out. If I don't get fucking permission, the next time you fire a fucking bullet or a gun or a bomb or a missile or any of that shit in this fucking country, I want to know as the American public what you're doing. I don't believe in what you're doing. I don't I don't like what you're doing. And I consider you just as much as, as, as an enemy now as these Houthis in Yemen. If you want to go to war and commit us to world war while we're fucking sleeping, you're no better than the Iranian-backed Houthis. You're no better than the Iranian-backed Houthis, American government if you sent us to war while we're sleeping where when was i consulted i am the american fucking public i i'm a person who represents a vote in this fucking country i never did lose my vote i never got felonized you know what i'm saying i have a vote in this country and like motherfucker i want to be consulted every single time you do some pinpoint strike and i want to answer no i do not register my approval of this and i want you to say yes i am going against your approval when i do this strike so you look like the rogue syndicate that you actually are you sneak around at night hamstringing fucking people billions times smaller than you i don't i don't respect it i don't want you engaged in this you're a fucking traitor for doing this shit fuck the democratic party and fuck the republicans fuck their warlike natures fuck their wars for the last 50 years and shit fuck their wars i don't care if they believe in what they're fucking doing stop putting us in foreign wars you piece of shit bullshit war love warrior fucking dictators and oh yeah i'm publishing it you better fucking believe it you better stop sending us to fucking war while I wake up and we've gone to war. What? Motherfucker, no. I want to hear about like a week of like kind of like nail biting. I want to hear some nail biting, you know? Oh, I want to hear some, should we do this? Should we do, should we, should we not do this? I don't really think we should attack Yemen. Yemen's never attacked us or whatever. You know, maybe they have, but I don't know. Like, like, like I don't know. I can't think of a time in my consciousness that, 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 that fucking Houthi rebels have ever fucked with Americans. You know, I, I guess they must have, or we wouldn't be striking them, I guess, you know? But okay, d despite whatever they did to get you so angry that you want to pinpoint strike them when I'm fucking sleeping, you know what I'm saying? When I'm fucking sleeping, you, 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 uh, you, you, you circumnavigated due process. You did not ask the American public what they wanted. You didn't ask us or or tell us what you were committing us to. You have you have no clue what you committed to. I doubt you know what kind of thing you bit off here. I think you just wanted to be warlike. And I don't know. I don't. I don't want to support you. You didn't ask us first. It's like my dad went off and shot somebody in the fucking head in the streets out there in the fucking gang war out there. And now, but, but you didn't tell us first. And now everybody in the fucking world is gunning for us. And it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. My dad shot your dad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry my dad shot your dad, but yo, I'm not like my fucking piece of shit brutal dad who beats the shit out of everybody and fucking pinpoint strikes fucking Yemen or some shit or whatever. I'm not like him. I don't like what he did here. Fuck my dad. Fuck all the fights he gets me into. Not my dad, American government. You're not my dad if you're sending me to wars overseas without my permission. Fuck you. We used to have a fucking due process in this country. We used to, like, ask our citizens if they wanted to go to war. Sometimes we did, at least, you know? Like, I want to know first. I, I believe it should be illegal. 
I believe the president and the cabinet and the people who took us to this war in Yemen right now today without our fucking permission are American fucking traitors and I want them out of here. Republicans too. These are fucking American traitors committing us to wars overseas, writing checks that our butts can't cash. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of you taking me to war while I'm fucking sleeping. I'll go to war with you when you're sleeping. See how you like it. See how you like it. Give you the eye for an eye. See how you like waking up one night at three in the fucking morning. See how you like it if war was declared at three in the fucking morning without your permission against the American government. See how you fucking like it. You wake up to a fucking war you didn't agree to. See how you fucking feel about it. See how you fucking feel. You fucking traitors. They've done it. Uh, laying out, I think, very reasonable ground. Traitors! I wake yeah. up and there's a war on! What the literal fuck is wrong with you? I didn't hear shit in the press about Yemen until today. What in the literal fuck is wrong with you? You have killed this country for too fucking long. I want you out of here, both parties. Boom, gone, voted out. You sent us to war overseas without my fucking permission? You're a fucking traitorous, fascist, fucking warmongering piece of shit. I don't care if you're a Democrat or, Democrat or Republican. You both are. And I want you the fuck out of here. I want to be fucking consulted as the American public every time you swing a fist. I don't want to hear about some fucking scuffle in some back hallway last night and now we're in a world war today. I don't want to hear about that. That is misappropriation. That is fucking obf obfuscation. That is that's denying the public what is their God-given right by American government to have which is like due process and a awareness of what their government is doing you are a rogue syndicate who has taken over our government and com convicting us and, and, and committing us to fucking like to like world wars overseas with people that we don't even think about on the fucking daily you know what i'm saying what is wrong with you and i will yell at you about this i want to be consulted every single fucking time a piece of american military hardware is used I really do. I want some oversight on the fucking, I want the oversight on the, the the executive and the legislative and the fucking military. I want the oversight. They cannot pull these triggers at night when we're sleeping. That to me is traitorism. It's essentially traitor bullshit. They sink our fucking reputation while we're sleeping. We, we as Americans work so hard to fucking build all this shit and you fucking destroy and send us to war overnight without our permission? How are you better than the fuck? how are you better than the Houthi, the Houthi rebels? How are you? How's the U.S. government any better than the Houthi fucking rebels at that point? And I will not back you. I will not. I will not support this. I will not watch. I will not condone an action that takes my people to fucking war. I will not condone a Democrat who says it. I will not. I will not condone a Republican who says it. Military intervention. Explain the importance. This to me is the the betrayal of the of American public's trust. You know what I'm saying? It's the last one. We were really sick after what you did in Hiroshima without our fucking permission. We were really, really sick after you killed 4,000 of our own citizens in 9-11. In then you sent us to more war for 20 years in Afghanistan, and you're fixing to fuck us in Yemen next, or Russia, or Ukraine, or whatever the fuck your bullshit, war, f warrior fucking, you know, warrior fucking poet bullshit as presidents are, or whatever. Your wars overseas can suck a fucking dick, you engage in them without our permissions because that's the only way you could engage in them if you asked us first we'd be like no we'll vote you out no the answer is no and if you do we'll vote you out so you don't ask us you just go do it you just go do it you piece of shit you got some fucking problem with some back alley bet with some idiot who controls these fucking idiots or something you have some kind of pride thing as a fucking politician or a fucking you know a diplomat or something like that you got some problem with these fucking people you go shoot them do not commit my fucking government or my people or my country to some retarded foreign war and i'm talking about it like it's it's like this is the this is i mean i'm sorry but I will not commit to that. I will not commit to you taking me to some war that I woke up to that I didn't even know was brewing at that point. That to me is the ultimate fucking betrayal of the American public's trust. We wake up to a war? No, I'll wake up to a war against the American government, yeah? Don't you ever commit us to a war without my fucking direct permission ever again! Uh, of the Baba Mandela. Don't you ever do this again! Don't you ever do this again, or I'll, I'll make this your reality. Don't you ever do this again. The entry point into the Red Sea uh, and the, the importance of the, that seaway 
Jeez, yeah, I don't care. Made. Frankly, don't care. I know, I know it's cru cruel and cold and hard, but I wasn't consulted. I woke up to this war. The explosions have gone off. I've had no say in it. I've had my fucking trust raped and violated by the U.S. government again. I wake up to being raped and violated by the U.S. government as usual. And I'm sorry, I don't support anything they do there. I don't want to know about what they did. I don't care. I don't support it. I was not. I do not give them my my permission. I like. I'm sorry, but whatever. Like the, the, to me. A rogue syndicate has taken over my goddamn government and convicted us to, you know, committed us to foreign fucking wars that we don't want. As far as I'm concerned, I hope Yemen hears that. I have a rogue syndicate running my government who, fu who fucking, you know, who fucking like com committed us to, to, to some action that I was not complicit with. I did not give permission for. I did not sign off for. I did not vote for. We got a rogue syndicate sending me to war with foreign interests without even asking my goddamn permission first. That's not running a country. That's that's betraying a country. You better fucking ask us first. I'm sick of you. After your fucking track record with fucking Hiroshima, you just drop a bomb without even fucking asking us first. We've seen your fuck up, fuck ups as the American government. We're sick of it. And so like, motherfucker, after Hiroshima, I want to know about every bullet you fire. You fucking traitorous pig dog rat bastards. Get the fuck out of there and do something. Stop in, 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 investing us in wars with Yemen and blowing money on nuclear tech or sorry, military tech that, that, to, to get us all mired up in some fucking Middle East crisis again jesus fucking christ i'll middle east your fucking ass graveyard of nations my fucking ass better learn some lessons piece of shit american diplomats or get a fucking dog on get your fucking dog on a fucking leash we wake up to a world war oh world war was declared guys it's 9 a.m in the morning and yeah america bombed russia or some stupid ass shit and we're in a world war now guys sorry oh it's gone we're dead nuked oh it's gone that's literally where this goes. Every word of it is exactly verbatim what happens. And I will not condone my own rogue syndicate sending me to war overseas over some stupid shit that I do not approve of. You know what I'm saying? We got problems here at home and you're fucking around with Yemen? What in the literal fuck is wrong with your traitorous asses? Get the fuck out of here. You anger me so bad. You piss me off with your fucking foreign wars. Your fucking Democrat fucking betrayal. Fuck your fucking bullshit and your Democratic betrayal. Uh-uh. I'm sick of you fucking committing me to foreign wars without even fucking mentioning it first. I'm sick of it. Fucking sickening. You know what I'm saying? Jesus fucking Christ, what happened to our government? Fucking rogue fucking syndicate running our IRS and our government and raping our fucking children, committing us to fucking 20 year, 20 year quagmires in goddamn fucking Middle East. Whether it's Republican or Democrat, they both do it. And I want them out of here. I'm sick of their fucking wars with foreign countries. I don't want it anymore. I never signed up for it. I never would have condoned Hiroshima. I don't condone fucking 9 11. I don't condone going to Afghanistan. And I'm sorry, but most of your leadership was utter fucking garbage for the last 50 fucking years somebody should say it you may be so angry angrier than hitler watching all the shit dreams that you shit it up with your shitification of my government god damn it man what the fuck Got to shitify everything. Got to shitify the the internet. Not not introduce any laws. You got to shitify the fucking your your reputation with Jeffrey. You got to shitify our government. Commit us to fucking wars overseas all the time that nobody in the country wants except you. Like what in the literal fuck is wrong with your traitor asses? Where did you go wrong? We did not build this country to fight everybody. We built this country to get away from fighting. You fucking idiots. What the fuck did you do while i was sleeping you fucking backstabbing traitors i don't care what the fucking details on your foreign war is i can i can sign it off right there you can you can slap down fifteen thousand huge documents full of shit about why you're there i don't give a fuck i was not asked first and i don't care why you're there i don't want to be there i don't know why you're there it's i don't know why you're there i'm i'm an isolate i'm a democratic isolationist i cannot believe you did this i cannot believe you did this without my permission you are a traitor both biden and trump and everybody with them are fucking traitors get them out of here get them out of here i don't want to lead some revolution against them i'm just saying this amounts to traitorism to me you made decisions that might actually sway whether or not i live or die without my fucking permission that is the ultimate betrayal of the american trust tell me it's not 
Tell me it's not. Give me a lawyer to fight me in court telling me it's not. I kind of want to sue you for violating my fucking civil liberty rights for without warning me that you're committing me to another war. I wake up to another war. I was not asked first. I, I get the last 20 times this happened, but I want to be asked first. I want to vote you out until you promise to tell us every single time you fire a fucking bullet. Every time you say a okay to the sniper to take his shot, I want to know as an American that you did that. I know that's kind of impossible to do, but I'm talking about like when you fire the shot that matters, that sets off the engagement, it gets us engaged with some other foreign country or some such. I want to prove. I want. You, I want you to seek approval from the public first. We never would have signed up for Hiroshima or any of your backstabbing betrayal bullshit. I don't care how much we hated them for Pearl Harbor. I think most Americans would have would have had more sense than to descend the world into possible nuclear war. I think you did that behind our backs because we've had a rogue cynic kept running this goddamn country since the fucking 30s that airspace over yemen has been since the 30s it's been like a hundred years now you just do what you want send us to korea send us to vietnam send us to kosovo send us to gulf war send us to fucking middle east send us to fucking yemen send us to russia send us to fucking china for what these people have never attacked us why are you such a warlike piece of shit i want both the parties gone you betrayer warriors yeah warriors come out and start the nuclear war yeah no 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 no, no. And I don't care about, oh, you need the details of it or whatever. No, I don't. You committed us to an, another foreign war without my goddamn permission or even mentioning it. And I'm sorry, but that's rogue syndicate taking over our government time where you're getting us in fist fights without even telling us first. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm going into to the bar to drink drink beers with my Yemen buddies or whatever. But no, turns out that there was a fist fight last night and we're on fucking fighting terms with Yemen now. What? I was not in Formed. Why did why was why did somebody call me at three thirty in the morning and tell me that my that my commanding officer started off a fucking tiff at the bar or something like that? That's what I consider this shit to be. Stop fighting in the cave and take us to the moon. I'm sick of you. Sick of your government fucking up. I'm sick of your wars. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of what you've done to this place. I don't know what the answer is. I'm not saying we need to dismantle you, but I definitely think you have overstepped the fucking boundaries and violated our trust way too much. And, to, and, and you must face a vote whether you even continue as you are now. I think you should face a vote from the American public. Do we vote you out and reform the government and start that process? Something like that. I believe we should do it judicially. I think we should vote out both parties because they obviously only want to get us infested in fucking like quagmires in, our, in Iraq and Afghanistan and stupid ass shit like Yemen, right? I want them out of here they're betrayers of the american public's trust i want them out of here at this point i want a cell phone vote Every time that our Balthazar our computer that runs our government thinks that a strike might be imminent or that a strike might be a good good idea, there should be this fucking cell phone text that hits our phones being like, the world government would like to send a strike to Yemen. Do you approve or swipe left or no? Swipe yes, for, swipe right for yes, swipe left for no. And yeah, you're going to see that like 85% of the American gov government, go, the, oh, sorry, the American public is absolutely unequivocally no or will kill you it's a big lie you've been telling us an american government for a fucking long time that we back you on this fucking foreign bullshit overseas we don't back you you're a rogue syndicate when it comes to that you're a rogue syndicate you were a rogue syndicate when it comes to fucking hiroshima and all the nuclear shit you got us into you are a rogue syndicate you don't ask us first you just do it i'm fucking sick of you i want something different i'm, I'm done with this government i will never vote for you again not if you're fucking getting me a shit with yemen while i'm sleeping no you rogue syndicate fucking betrayer backstab piece of shit benedict arnold get the fuck out of here i don't want america in fucking wars overseas i never did and never will and then you want to know how you get in wars overseas you make pinpoint strikes against people overseas what it is what is it that you think that's going to lead to do you think it's going to lead to a good place no when you're the big man in the fucking room when you're russell crowe on the oscar winning night of gladiator right 
You don't go sucking people who didn't win the Oscar over there on the sides or whatever, right? You say, hi, guys, I'm Russell Crowe. Thanks for the rewar award, and I really love you guys. Thanks for the money, and thanks for the support. We're chilling back in this pimp gangsta lean like Russell Crowe, motherfucking gladiator, did some good work here or whatever. And no, I'm not going to sock Yemen, somebody 15, uh, 15th of my size. No, I'm not going to sock any toddlers, no. I don't need any foreign engage engagements. I'm the badass pimp in my motherfucking gangsta lean on the motherfucking block on some gangster shit on some gangster shit on the streets the american government would have been erased a long time ago on some actual gangster street on the, uh, some actual gangster shit on the fucking streets the american government would have lost so fucking long ago you guys aren't good at strategy you're good at sneaking around and committing us to shit that we don't agree to and killing all of our luminaries and our politicians and cia assassinations but you're not good at fucking leading the fucking country you're not good at it. You, you, you're not good at it. Wars in Yemen would suggest that you aren't good at it. That's what House would say, you know? Jesus fucking Christ. The wars overseas would suggest that you aren't so good at this. You should probably stop, you fucking backstabbing, commit us to foreign wars, goddamn fucking traitors without asking us for, for permission first before you launch some bomb or fire some pinpoint strike. Yeah, into my heart. You understand, you can launch that pin's pinpoint strike on Yemen, but what you're really doing is taking a fucking spear and shoving the fucking spearhead right through the fucking heart of every true believing, God-fearing whatever the fuck American you know what I'm saying you're sh taking a spear and shoving it through the hearts of the fucking public that puts you there because you didn't ask us first and so the real pinpoint strike is on the American heart tell me I'm wrong traitors tell me I'm wrong come after me I'll talk to my fucking lawyer you know what I'm saying tell me I'm wrong tell me I've said, I've said anything untrue I have not Nothing untrue. Always bothered me about Why? Why did you go to war with Yemen while I was sleeping? I'll go to war with you while you're sleeping. See how you fucking like it. Eye for an eye, bitch. That's what you want to do to the world? How about you face that kind of Night of the Long Knives reality then? How about you do that? And see how you like it. If somebody, you just wake up and the American public has committed you to some war with like, like Mexico or something that you didn't fucking agree to. And you'll understand how it feels to have your country go to war without your fucking permission. I hope the U.S. government feels it at least once. You know, and I'm saying like, I want to go to war with Mexico. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, about like what, how pissed would the American government be if the American public committed the American country to war with Australia, you know, more or less topical one or whatever, right? people that come from the crown or whatever let's say that the american public really hate australia so so we launch a nuke on sydney or something crazy right and the american government's like you did what and they're like you did what we're gonna fucking imprison you and shoot you you committed us to a war with australia what in the fuck did you do you're the american public you don't do that shit we do that shit right that's how mad you would be so i want you to see what it's like on the other fucking side you commit us to a fucking war before we even wake up in the fucking morning that's what that's actually like I'd imagine if, if the american public just launched a nuke on sydney and caused a world war with australia for some fucking crazy reason right like that's how that's how crazy yemen sounds to me I imagine that's how Australia sounds to you. You know what I'm saying? It sounds crazy to me when you mention pinpoint strikes on Yemen. It's about as crazy as saying, yeah, the U.S. public launched a nuke on Sydney, Australia without the U.S. government's permission. And now the U.S. government knows what it's like when the public or the government commits the country to a war without the public or government's permission. I hope it happens to you and you see what it's like. You've gone to war without our permission so many goddamn fucking times. Committed our fucking brothers and my fucking grandfather and all these people to fucking bleed out and foreign fucking soil and all this shit like that's a good outcome or something like that like that's something to aspire to or look up to or or fucking look forward to or something for them yeah purple heart's cool but jesus christ at what cost you know what i'm saying like at what cost like so i'm like like man like you know like stop sending us to fucking foreign wars that while i wake up at the when i wake up in the morning wake up in the morning and war were declared i wasn't asked and nobody cared Yeah, uh, got no quarrels with Yemen, but I got a quarrel with the U.S. government. Can't think of anything Yemen's ever done to me or anybody I know in America. 
So don't know what America's fucking problem is with Yemen or whatever. And I'm sure I should find out. I will. I will find out what our problem is with Yemen. But I have a bigger problem with the American government. I'm far more likely to learn about the problems of fighting the American government than I, than I am about the problems of fighting the Yemens. You know what I'm saying? Or the Yemen Yuffie, Yuffie rebels or whatever it is. I don't want to know about fighting Yuffie rebels. We're 15 billion times the size of them. I don't care how detail, how much detail you go into when you tell the American public how well you're going to sock the toddler or whatever the fuck. I don't care what your fucking details are on socking a toddler. You're still socking a fucking toddler 15th the size of you. I don't care what you think morally. Oh, it shows good morale or our guns and our weapons are cool. Look at these pinpoint strikes. America, fuck yeah global police we're gonna pinpoint strike yemen or some shit yeah you know and it's like no i don't know no i don't like any of those things i don't want you to do these things i consider you a traitor when you do them i want permission when i when you fucking do them where's the due process where's the fucking where's the vote where's the oh guys we're kind of committing you to a 20 year overseas war in afghanistan and um uh is that okay and the resounding answer would have been absolutely the fuck not no we've got wars in south central that you need to, to tend to first we got fire started in south central in the bronx and, and motherfucking you know fucking like you know baltimore that you really should keep an eye on before you start fires over fucking seas you piece of shit pyro fucking p fucking pyromaniac fucking government i know you got to set fire to the you want to see your, you want to see you know you, you want to watch the world burn or whatever i understand your fucking vibe you just want to see everybody die or whatever i get it but like still dude like motherfucker like you should probably ask us first if you say that you ask us first you say that you ask us first that, 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 that you don't do anything without our approval i don't agree i think you do tons of shit without our approval and you're a rogue syndicate you, you're out of control and you're committing us to things that, that i think our young men have to pay for while you sit back in that fucking white palace and you eat kfc in your fucking bucket of chicken and shit in your diaper and stink up the fucking white house about mmos is the very nature of video and this goes to bow presidents game reviews for example ign gave new world when it was released a six stating new world is a very pretty survival mmorpg hybrid that saves its best moments for the end game but you're gonna have to be willing to grind like hell to get to one but then there is no follow-up to this no review for rise of the angry earth and the same actually goes for pc gamer as well who says new world's engaging crafting and faction rivalries are held back by the abysmal PvE and a boring world. I get that these are just opinions, and I have long divorced myself from the need to justify the games that I play because of someone's score. So in today's video, I want to dive into the state of the game for New World and look forward to the year 2024 and the future of what this game will bring, because it will have a future despite what others have claimed and i want to explore where the game came from because it's hard I, I think this game has a future if it were to embrace not nfts but bitcoin um values on the items and i think new world would be the perfect launching ground for an nft revolution in gaming not nft but bitcoin revolution in gaming where like when you farm up 1500 gold by chopping cactus for four hours you can sell that for 15 dollars and sure selling 15 hours of labor is for 15 dollars is a dollar an hour and absolutely worthless but if you had it but if you did it you would have 15 dollars that you didn't have before that is what I want out of New World. I don't want anybody to be bragging about how they, they're on a yacht because, with, a, with a laptop because of New World or anything like that. I want to hear about how Johnny made $165 grinding out the desert all year while he was working on his homework. And then he spent that money on liquor and, and, and speed. Hard to argue at this point that this game is a failure. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What are we talking about here? 4.2 million views? Holy... This is... I've been doing this... YouTube Wait, yeah, it's weird because 30,000 people play the game. 4.1.7... 4.17 million of them sit around and talk shit about it. Which is really weird. Like, like we looked at this yesterday. Something's happening with New World. I just don't know what it is. Uh, the... Like, the actual Steam game play and player statistics is like... 
Uh, Counter Strike, Dota, but what we're looking for down the list here will be New World at number eighty to to one hundred somewhere around here. Where are you, New World? Oh, or did you drop out of the hundred? You might have. All right, well let's run a search for it. Maybe it's up a little bit today because it got some attention. Yep. So twenty two thousand five eighty four top concurrent today. That's a dead game. Something else I'd like to draw your attention to is. Uh, the fact that EVE Online has 28,000 and EVE Online, a game from 20 years ago, is doing better than New World. And they've been saying EVE is dead for, oh, I mean, I'm sorry, it's doing that. Well, right now, today, it's concurrent as 21,000. So EVE was so niche and such a sim that it couldn't reach the masses the way New World could. But they have very, very similar numbers. And I'm not sure how it's pertinent, but I'm certain of it. EVE Online and new world have the I know this is a very, very crucial uh, clue. I know that this is a very, very crucial clue to solve this mystery. But I can't put my finger on how. Just going to spitball here. Something about PvP being the game's main focus before launch for both titles, right?
This is good shit. I'm gonna record this one. I'm gonna save it so I don't lose it. Good shit, good shit. So there's me on video writing a tretis on what's wrong with New World. Eve Online and New World have the exact same concurrent player statistics today. Yesterday, Eve was at 28k and beat New World. New World sits at 18k, steady for weeks. 18k con, steady for weeks. I stay. I, I play both games to watch the stats every day. I have 1,200 hours New World and 6k hours Eve. I know, and I know, I know, S somehow. This is somehow very, very, uh, a very, very crucial clue to solve this mystery. 
how the two games relate in their execution.
There it is. I said everything I was going to say. <clears throat> Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. But it is dark again. Damn it. Uh, EVE Online, a new world, had the exact same concurrent player statistics today. Uh, yesterday, EVE was at 28k and beat New World. New World sits 18k con steady for weeks. I play both games and watch the stats every day. Had 1200 hours New World and 6k hours EVE. And I know, I know this is somehow a very, very crucial clue to solve this mystery. How the two games relate in their execution, I think, but I can't put my finger on how. I'm not even sure what the mystery is. Failure of retention, failure of execution. Not sure what demon is plaguing New World because it's in my top m5 mmorpgs of all time but just gonna spit spitball some bullet points in this murder mystery like a good internet sleuth here something about concessions something about consensual full loot drop pvb pvp YouTube thing all wrong guys new world sucks it's dying we're gonna be a hating on games channel from here on out so you should like and subscribe hello everyone and welcome to another new world video your friendly neighborhood new world propagandist here delivering unto you hopefully an entertaining and fun video to ease the burdens of your new year's resolution hitting the floor so whether you're listening to this video at the gym or crying into a bucket of ice cream i'm really glad you're here now this is state of the game new world as of 2024 it has officially kicked into high gear oh, and we've been given all. several updates about How what's to come wrong? and i figured we'd also spend some time going over How the player numbers wrong? and the timelines oh, no, for this year now i don't know if you guys remember this but Josh Tripe Hayes said this. How do they always Amazon bring Games Josh showed Hayes. how woefully incompetent they are at updating and balancing an MMO, and now it is crashing and burning. New World is still the fifth most played game on Steam, meaning it is still likely making a lot of money and has a substantial player base. But a substantial player base in comparison to what? Getting people to try no, your game I'll is easy, this. getting them to stick around is hard. One million people tried New World on day one, and now 100,000 play it on the daily. A 10% retention rate is not a great figure. Hopefully 2022 will bring many improvements to New World and we will have a solid MMO to play and enjoy, but given the track record and the level of mechanical and system design skill shown, I am not holding out too much hope. Now this one was kind of easy to just gloss over, but did you hear him use the concurrent number as a representation for the total player population in that clip? This is a big reason why devs no longer report player numbers. And while we still glean these informations off of things like Steam Chart, whether this for good or for bad overall, this is ends up just playing into both the genre that we claim to love, but also at the same time, we're so thrilled to see it fall. And that is where I think a lot of the challenge for any new MMORPG will constantly have to face is how do you survive the death spiral? And when it comes down to people reporting incorrectly off of player numbers, I think that only adds fuel to the fire. So let's actually jump into the numbers here and let's take a look Gotta at where pee, we guys. are I'm at sorry, the start I'll be of right this back. year. And I can predict several things based off of their trends, but I can tell you right now, this line going up and down is a healthy 
sign. You want be able to, you want people to take breaks. You want to be able to bring new people in. You want people to return on occasion. Nobody needs to dedicate their lives to just one MMORPG. Those days have sailed. And I feel like as MMORPG players overall, we're all nomadic in this regards. Now, we're nomadic looking for a home, so the heart wants what it wants. But I think overall, the health of a game is how you can step away and you can return because you're going to appreciate those moments way more rather than just getting bitter and in, uh, you know frustrated at the fact that certain things either don't go as well as you hoped or things end up getting delayed. But if we look at the 25,000 peak concurrent here in January, well, that equates to roughly 177,000 to 279,000 monthly active users. Yep, this is nowhere near as close as the high peak, but when Josh and others have stated that this level of drop was unprecedented, that just isn't true because it happens to all of these games. Fun Fact Freak highlights this in a comment to me over on my channel, Pax Day Central, and he says, no, I'll continue to play MMOs that have actual content with a community that doesn't jump on the latest bandwagon based on influencers, i.e. EverQuest, Lord of the Rings Online, and not a couple of pipe dream games that will probably crash and burn like every other modern MMO because once the influencers move on and the locust of followers consume the content in one month, they will move on also. I think for the most part, this highlights one side of the problem. It's easy to blame content creators for the problems in gaming. In fact, I do in some instances share in that belief. And it's some of this is clearly warranted especially when it comes to the locusts and the hive mind that we see plaguing the MMOs. Overconsumption, moving on, and champing in its death spiral. We clearly have seen from the views if you want to make money on the platform. Guys, I know that I'm going to sound a little bit biased, but stick with me here. There are also positive sides to content creation too, and it's also very easy to see how MMOs are hyped up, they're overconsumed, and then they're crapped all over for those sweet, 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 sweet views. That's why MMOs shouldn't be judged off of just one specific update or their launch. But I argue it should be by their content, the team's communication, and the consistency in which the game is updated. So let's actually look at that as our true metric of success for New World. Now, looking over the last several months, you will see that without a fresh start server event this year, the expansion hype kicked off higher than it did in Brimstone Sands last year, but it had expected going into the holiday player count numbers started to fall. Now, this is the ebb and flow of the game, and it didn't really help that Season 4 missed out on so many features and updates that it did put a cloud over the game at the end of the year. This trend in the game's life does show the power of marketing and the power of these influencers. So whether it's good or bad, just note that any of the doomsaying really is just speculation. Just like all of this is speculation and hype and excitement. But when marketing is applied and marketing dollars are applied, AKA back in November, 2022, those are some big numbers. And that was a big event and people got paid a lot for that event and it was an exciting thing to be a part of and so i'm very grateful for having that opportunity but this year alone going into the expansion while the expansion did bring in over 166.6 percent of new user return it didn't have additional marking so you don't see the bigger hype build up leading into the expansion itself ultimately uh, I'm very curious about this year because we will, or should at least, see a new expansion among many other new and improved features. Now, while I'm bullish and will continue to be bullish on the state of New World, JMac weighs in saying the developers of this game have actively Fuck. sabotaged the player experience. Do not play this game. And I would, I, I would echo like if you guys are burnt out, if you're, you know, like you're frustrated with the state of the game, it's. It's better to step away rather than just become a bittered online ranter. I think there's just better things out there for each and every one of us. Then the internet still is also filled with other opinions. So like Jay, Pretty Guardian writes, I've for sure thought that this was a worthwhile expansion. A lot of people really try to minimize the changes by saying, oh, they just reskin First Light while ignoring the redesign of Eden's Grove. 
how in-depth the mouse and the item systems are, and all the other improvements and content that has come along. There's a lot to love here. And I and I definitely think Pretty Garden is you know more in my camp where I kind of fall. Um, but it is going to be how uh, how you how you perceive it at the end of the day. New World this year will be adding in control support. This has been a big request that I have had, and I'm so glad that people have joined me in pushing for controller support for this game. The Steam oh, it's got controller support now. Passable, but what this is going to do, it's going to open up this game accessibility-wise. Oh wow! To so many players. They should put it on console. Asking me on usually once a month. Hey, have they added the official controller support yet? Now, this is going to also be the first major step to bring this game to console. Now, while I continue to give them feedback about what is needed that's going to drive that experience home, for example, server guessed it. I, in this world, and I think, you know, there's probably a lot of people like me, there's so many really great options and games out there. I don't feel like waiting in a queue. And if they could just give you the ability to play the game, and when your server is ready, that you could then go on to your server that solves so many problems the cross world support for the content is going to also solve so many problems because now you can start to see people who want to have a lighter population server experience not be cut off from doing the content that they want to do any the year ahead will be one where we look back and we start to understand what amazon means by them saying that they're all in on gaming. Now, for my personal state of the game, I have been really enjoying playing New World with you all. In fact, if you're interested in teaming up, Discord link is in the description, as well as any of the other links that do support the channel in one way or the other. I thank you if you do decide to support the channel in some way, shape, or form, but by hitting that like button and just watching the video, that is support enough, and I thank you so much. For that support new world for me though still needs a player aptitude level this is where once you're level 65 you continue to get experience and quote unquote level up even though you're not getting any more power or attribute points however leveling from 60 to 65 for me felt great but fleeting oh got him XP just <laughs> And the new seasonal model, they either could use the aptitude levels or just turn that XP straight up into seasonal XP rather than have their current conversion that they do. A certain amount of you know, regular XP turns into seasonal XP. Just make it worthwhile. Give me a bar that I can track, and that's going to keep me motivated to pull monsters out of the world as well as doing quests and everything else that is on my list of things that I want to do. The other thing I really actually want to see them add to the game in and of itself is a feature from Guild Wars 2. It's it's actually weird because they do have this in the game right now, but it's only just for PvP. What I want is to see for the PvE side of the game, the longer the mob has actually been spawned, the more bonus experience they will give you upon killing them. I think this would be an exciting and rewarding system to offer more players open world grinding opportunities and this would also open up new areas to farm XP where players don't normally find themselves. I also like to think that the devs need some type of PvP event like they do with the PvE events where it runs for a little like a week, some time off, whether it's another week break, or it toggles between something that's arena focused, OPR focused, and so that way players who really enjoy PvP can be excited about these upcoming events. Side, and I really hope that we see 2024 have them invest in the PvP side as well, because that I think will bring some level of excitement for players that have been clamoring for it. And I also echo what people have stated: new OPR maps, new new content. I'm all on board for that, but I want to highlight some of the things that I just think I stand out a little bit differently in terms of that feedback. So when it's all said and done, continue to provide your feedback to this game, guys. It's going to continue to improve. Uh, and I think because of where they're headed, especially with the future and what, what their goals are for Amazon Game Studios, it's going to be an interesting decade to say the least. And I, I don't want you to miss out on that. I think that's something I see a lot. A lot of people end up wishing that they had had an experience that no longer is available. And MMOs are a constant force of change. But let's go ahead and dive even deeper and look at the secret weapon that AGS wields. And it's the power of Twitch and Twitch drops. It's no secret that when New World has massive draw numbers, 
whenever a drop campaign is going on, they don't need to pay streamers to stream the game. The drops provide that level of incentive for many to pick up the game and stream it. But because this is state of the game, let's look into the numbers. July 2023 saw an increase of 97% of people watching. We saw a dip in August down to 63%. This can start to be explained by what else is going on in the industry? Think Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield, just to name two games. Now, whether you like either of those games or both of those games or none of those games, they had people's attention. Then back into September, getting into that pre-expansion hype, we see an increase of 39.7%. Then filing in October with the release of Rise of the Angry Earth, this is where you see the biggest jump in viewership, 450 now we're going to explore some more historical data here in just a second but but hold this number in your mind for just a little bit then in november that's where we start to see a decline after the hype of the expansion drops and november releases uh come out and people start playing those games but what's really interesting is just the return that we've seen with season four which dropped in december and you can see here clearly from the chart itself where it starts to peak and that is a huge impact of the twitch drop marketing camp but let's take a moment to actually look more at the historical data if you look at this chart obviously you can see the launch and the pre-launch betas etc drawing in a lot of attention and a lot of hype and it does make the rest of the chart look like we're not seeing much growth but here's the thing hype is a hell of a drug but it isn't a true representation of is this a good game or not mmo players overconsume the content they leave and maybe they come back and that's why we've seen a shift in how these games have been designed but now if we start to look at it more in terms of a closer time period you have the brimstone sands launch only it's right here where this is the return and fresh start server campaign we saw that already in the numbers uh, within steam charts this is reflective of that that is kind of acting as a heat map but if we zoom in even further we start looking kind of at the last year we're seeing things continue to trend upwards and we're seeing the seasonal model applied here with these natural peaks and valleys in the game and its community and here with rise of the angry earth it generates all new interest and momentum and what you'll end up seeing is here's numbers will go down and then eventually the numbers come up and that is the sign of health. That there's going to be a continual interest in the game, in its improvement, and what it can offer players. But if you guys are looking for more just amazing people, this site also has great content creators in the tops rank. So if you just want to focus in on English, you can click on that. I'll include a link in the description for you. But it's got the top three rated English-speaking streamers, a streamer house, the hidden gaming layer, and Baggins TV. So guys, if you are looking for somebody to get some drops from, you can always do those. You can always follow me over on Twitch. The links to all the content that I make, podcasts, and so much more are all in that link tree description uh, link for you. So hopefully you go check that out. And I hope to see you over in the podcast and so much more. Whether you do decide to go hang out and lurk on Twitch and get the drops that way, you can always just watch me stream on YouTube if that's your preference over at Ginger Prime. Because change is really the only thing guaranteed about this life. New World is a success. It continues to be so. But it's not perfect, and we all know it. If you're bored or burnt out, just take a break. But if you're looking for something different from what else exists on the market today, this is a great time to return or start playing. And this year is going to be one that I think you should be really excited about. Anyway, guys. Why? Thank there's you so no much content. That it up for State of the game. Why? Really there, there's no content. Time, but until then, everyone, take care. They definitely needed to add a whole nother zone, and even then, like I, I don't know, they, they needed an, they needed another big brimstone zone that was just as good as brimstone, with all the goodliness of brimstone, but not brimstone, you know. And they didn't. If they had just kept repeating brimstone over and over again every every year, they would have been fine. But the, I mean, the, yeah, Nagri Earth was good, but I mean, probably only one time, maybe two times. It'll be good to have it there. Later on, when the game expands, it gets better, but I don't know. I think they kind of mishandled a little tiny bit. Little tiny bit. So. 
Man, the loot just keeps going. There's so much loot here. It's awesome. I haven't even done the back road to, to Bandit Camp. And, and um, one of the ways I can really make, like, scrap really fast is, uh... Uh, I can just chop this forest, for instance. I can just chop this whole forest. I can take it to Bandit Camp, sell it directly to the NPC, pull, like, you know, a thousand scrap. I don't know what I would do with, it, with that beyond make tier T2 and T3s. And I believe there is some stuff to buy in uh, 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 Bandit Camp. Like, I think there's a large... For, or I think there's a... Uh, uh, what is it called? Um, wind turbine there, I think. Fairly sure... Did I hear a mini heli? I thought I heard a mini heli. I don't think I did though. Or I did, but I think he just flew past, like, right on the edge of my hearing. God, I like just recording and not not streaming. I like doing both of it. I'm gonna do both of it. I'm gonna do time off on Rust. Where I can just have my thoughts and be by myself and not have spies or have to worry about fucking bullshit ass stream sniping or anything like that. My own personal time, right? On gaming and all that. And then I want the whole, you know, wowie, FFXI, grinding MMORPG thing on my on my stream and and, and, and publish to my YouTube each night. And I'm 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 hitting all the, the base the bases that I wanna hit. We're going to do another recycling session. I just don't want to lose that jackhammer. I keep forgetting to leave the jackhammer here, which is why I keep coming back here. I keep coming back here to leave the jackhammer because, uh, you know, <clears throat> it's busted. Well, really, I just want to... Let's just fix it. Fuck it. I'm just going to fix it. I'm thinking, like... Yeah. I'm not going to run any puzzles, so... Fuses are open season. Yeah, it seems good to me. Let's go, let's go, let's go recycle. I have seven stop signs and pipes and stuff. That'll be good. I'll reach the T2 fairly quick, and I'll put the T2 inside the base. I want to buy metal frags, basically, except the outpost is pretty fucking far. So, we'll just get it here slowly. I'll go out looking for metal. This guy farmed all the metal in this area, which is kind of annoying, and then it got stolen from him. So now all the nodes haven't respawned for like another day or two. And that sucks. I can't believe I know that much about it, but I do. The, the nodes will come, but not for another day or two. It's, it's so annoying. This area will respawn, but it's not fast. Not nodes. Nodes are not fast. He wants you to, to, to go out and travel if you want to have that kind of strength. He wants you to go cover ground if, if, uh, if you're going to have that kind of power to have that much nodes and minerals and stuff. He's, he's like, all right, well, these don't, the, the, the loot responds fast, but not the nodes. The loot responds faster than normal, n normal servers, which is actually really cool. Like, I mean, faster than two X's, it like spawns really fast. Like mill crates will spawn every seven minutes, I think, or something like that. Maybe it's 10, I think it's 10, but it's really good. Like every 10 minutes, you can get like six mill crates an hour just sitting at gas station at the server, which I actually really like. I like that I can just, when I'm not recording, I can just take my breaks and write my shit and do my YouTube comments and all this. New World, it had it been a, a full loot drop PvP game, like they said it would be, it would have been my number one game, just by rote. But nope, they just had to wowify it. Getting a lot of metal. It didn't really recycle too well, but... See if the mill crate's back for some reason. Kind of doubt it, but yeah. God is so nice without spies. What can they do? I love it. Are we done? Yeah, it's done. Alright. 
56 cloth. And, oh, I missed that thing. I guess I'll... Those two things, I guess I'll pop those. Metal and high claw. Feels like I run over to... Well, I don't know. I want to do the road to Bandit Camp. All the roads to Bandit Camp. Because that shit's really got a lot of loot. And it's really close. Ooh, fuse right off the bat. That's actually really good. Take that back. Nice. Okay, I got a, got a good haul here, I think. I'm going to take it out of the bag now because if I die, I lose it. It's a nice bag, but you lose what's in it, which sucks. I think they're adding backpacks now. Or uh, maybe that is just the, the backpack. I don't know. Wow, did I leave a door? Oh, well, no, I didn't really leave a door. I no. should leave these doors open. Exactly. So I can get through here and out. Uh, so, yeah, 2,000. We're almost there. I need about f I need about 6K metal to do what I need to do comfortably. But I could do this whole side of the base and secure it a lot more. But I think it's better to just, yeah, I need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Eleven metal shop fronts. I should. What I should do first is definitely replace the, uh, the uh, the doors now because it is like kind of a bad. Ri it's it's um, I should do what I can. Like four metal shop fronts is a thousand metal frags and stuff. So yeah, we'll go. We'll do the metal shop fronts for where the TC is at least, and um, and we'll begin our work on on um. One, two, three, four, four, four metal shop fronts, and uh, no, I have a metal door, so that, that that definitely makes this much more secure now. And then a metal door. We're gonna pull this door. Yeah, this door's worthless now. I was just using it to block the sound. Oh no, really? What about like a hammer or something? Will you let me do it with a hammer? You're open that door and then let me take that door. No. No, it won't let me take the door off. That's so annoying. Give me a hammer. So I'm gonna try and take these doors off, I guess. Nope, don't do that. Isn't this cute? I love this. Okay, good. Then we'll have to rethink the interiors once I get further. 800 out of what? Like, yeah, the, let's keep 2K in the base because it's like definitely higher now. And we'll just keep doing stuff here. Like, I have a metal door, but I can't, um, can't take this door off for some reason. Maybe it's because the, the box is here. I don't know why you won't let me take that off. That's annoying to me. Uh,. I don't know, but I know that um, I want to move this bag. I want to do a lot of work, frankly. Yeah. I just put all this in there for now. Yeah, and then we'll just move all this. Yeah, we'll move all this. Good shit. Starting to starting to shape up the way I want to. Look how beautiful the space will be when it's done. It's such an RP base. I don't care if they see in here. You know, I don't care. I'll keep one box so they know that it's poor. There's nothing in here but a T2 and a box. You know. If they want to raid it, they can. I'll build. I'll build a new one. It's fine. 
took me very little time both days, and I, I moved all the mats from somewhere else. I don't really have to worry about stone too much for a while, which is good. I should put, uh, <clears throat> like, they could blow right there, so I should put, um, honeycomb, well, not honeycomb, but, yeah, I will. I'll put, um, honeycomb and, uh, when I chop wood, I'm, I'm out of wood, which is kind of bad, so, but, eh, uh, we'll, we'll deal with what I was dealing with. Oops, no, wait, loot all. And then come over here. Say existing all. And then, yep, we'll pick you up. And we'll take you and we'll put you in here for now. Yeah, just so I can um, pick you up. Oh, I have a problem, which is kind of annoying, uh, which is I'll have to leave this here for just a minute. While I... Oh, I, I don't have my shirt for some reason. Yeah, there we go. And then, um, also, I don't have... Well, I guess I can't do that, but I, I don't really have the arrows, per se. Uh, why do I... Oh, I hear a bear. I thought I heard a horse. It was a bear. It's that bear. I want to get him, but... I need... Arrows. Oh, cool. There, there we go. Cool. That changes things. Yeah, we'll keep, like, no nails, but definitely a mag for the nail gun. And, uh, yeah, and then I don't really want to carry around this many rounds, per se. Yeah, like, probably half that, yeah. Because on, on a longer trip, I'll take more, but, yeah. And then, finally, we pick up all of that. Yep, and then we take what wood, uh, oh, there's, there's no wood, huh? Where's the wood at? Da -da 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 there we go. Uh, in the wood, in the metal. Make a box. I don't want them to see what color of boxes I have. So I don't want them to know who I am. So I'm not gonna... Not gonna do my green boxes like normal. We're gonna do the, the average box, right? We're gonna do two boxes. One, two... In, in here, we'll do four, really. We're going to do a nice tight four. Yeah. And then a small box here. I'm going to move the, the sleeping bag. I'm going to put it way the fuck back here. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like by this um, furnace and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, way, I don't know. Right here is pretty good, actually. If I could do it. Yeah. Like right there. Yeah. Yep. Then we will put a box down right there as far back as we can go in the corner yeah like that yep and then we're gonna pick up oh sorry we're gonna place existing and we're gonna oops pick up all of that and put it in the box oh that furnace needs to go down i, I don't even really want to research i just want to put it down I wish I could put down right there. It won't let me, though. It would be okay to have some room by the TC, but I don't know. Maybe it should actually be room to get in the room is what it should be. I think so. Yeah, I'll put three boxes in here, but leave it where I can jump in. Yeah, I think so. I could also do a shelf. I could do a shelf right here, but I don't know. I, like Honestly, two boxes is all I really... Well, three boxes is all I really want in here. Yep. So we'll pick this box up. This is no good for me right now. We'll pick it up and we'll, we'll do... Uh, do I have enough scrap for a T2? I do. Where did the wood go? Why is the wood constantly missing? Oh, I use it all maybe. God oh, damn it. Did you put it away? Yeah, you did. I want to make a T2 and I don't have enough wood. That's okay. So existing and then yep, and we'll take that and we'll put it in there that stuff right yep. and then uh yeah and then we'll pick you up oh, no, no, I, I lost my hammer uh hammer pick you up yep. oh. there we go. and then we'll pick you up and we will see if a box can fit back there can a box fit back, fit back there? i should put a box behind the tc but oh well that's okay so no box won't fit there or there so just like seeing what i can work with and what i can't do we're gonna see if i can cram a box in this corner yeah like that yeah like that oh did i not manage it no i did i managed it there we go yep and it's perfect i can get in here 
without any problem. I even think I can probably run a box right there. Yes, I can. I think I can make a, put another box down, so we'll do that. Another box. Oh god, it feels good to be able to just live on the server and not be harassed all day. It's such a good feeling. It totally brings the game back for me. I really love that. It's awesome. Okay, so there's that, and uh, yeah, we have three boxes in here, and we have 1,850 metal left, so we could do the next set of problems. Well, no, I guess we do this first. So this goes in the TC existing, right? This I want to pick up entirely. Oh, oh damn it. You, existing. Let's go. All that can go in there. Yep. And then uh, we'll do all. Yep. And then we'll come over here and we'll say do all. And then existing. Existing. Right. And then we'll go existing. We'll come here and we'll pull this and we'll move it to existing. We'll pick my loadout later. Uh, ooh, fish meat, right? Yeah, fish meat's good. And I want to be able to cook on the inside. I want to be able to get on the roof. And I can do that. I can expand this thing. But I'll also... Yeah, I mean, I could do that. I built it where I could do that. I made it like that. I made it like that. I could just keep expanding it until they take it from me. You know? Yep, like a barbecue on the roof and look at the weather and stuff. It would be sweet. Yeah. Put windows, or well, not windows up there, but uh, metal shop fronts up there. It would be very expensive, but. Um, don't need. Oh wait, no, I do need that. I do need that. I need to start saving wolf skulls. I, 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 I can get. A, I can make a lot of money off wolf skulls, and I didn't think about that. I've been tossing them, but I can't. I live right by a uh, bandit camp. I guess in the future I will always build by bandit camp. It makes me feel the most safe. Um, when I come in, there's more room on this side where I can jump. So, but I can fill spaces over here, such as that. How is it? Is it like that? Yeah, it's like that, right? Stuff that in the corner, right? Yep. And then um, I guess I will invest a lot of what my a lot of my remaining um, a lot of my remaining things in metal shop fronts. One, two, three, four. Yep. Leave some for for making stuff. And while that produces, I'll think about what else I want to do. I suppose I can make, if I have any tech trash, which I might not. I might not have, oh no, I got I bought, I bought tech trash. Let's make, uh, I'm getting nervous about this T1, but that's all right. I could put like another triangle square there, another two, and put a T1 there and use the T1 to jump up to the roof. I could, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's, so this is all, I can take that off my screen, please. Yep. Um, so yeah, base is shaping up, it's cool. Um, I don't know what else I can make, it would be, uh, I guess 65 high qual is um, worth an investment on the floor. Which I didn't realize before I re I didn't I made it where I couldn't reach it. Yeah, like that. And I want to make up and they'll have to go through the a door here. I can put a door here, which I should. I should put a door here. 
Wait, if, is there doors in here? Yes. We will put the door right there. Yep. How does it open? Perfect, perfect. And, uh, yep, that's definitely crucial. That we needed to do that earlier rather than later. It gives the last bit of shit. Oh, no, I, I have locks. I have locks made already. Where are the locks? I know I saw them. Yes. And, uh, we will... Oh, yep, did we lock everything? Yeah, why not dump a bunch of locks on everything? Okay. And then we'll go outside, which is a big risk, actually, kind of. But hey, how much? That did not take much high qual. I suppose the other bits can't be improved, but it is cheap. It's like a really cheap design. They can't go through the roof or the or the thing very easily. So I do want to do honeycomb uh, on this base, but only below the windows. Which I will do. I will do that. Um. And that will take wood and stuff, but yeah, I guess I can make, um, I'll do the lights later, I suppose. Yep, and now I can do further on the metal shop fronts. So we go, durr, durr. No, I don't want that. And then, yep, you're on the outside, right? Yeah, on the outside, yep. And then we go, blah, blah. Blur. Blur. Yep. Cool. And then we'll pick this up. It's in the way. And we'll come down and we'll try to pick up this door. Good. That's even better. We will immediately make another door. And secure the space to the best of our abilities. Yeah. Probably two doors, frankly. And then, uh, we will come down. And the first thing we will do is... Oh. Very windy. Shaking my house. I love the peace and calm of it. It's the most peaceful and like like loving game I've ever witnessed. It's got such a fucking vibe to it. I've never had another game have this kind of vibe. Not at all. It's such a good game. Um, so, uh -huh, and then going back, yeah, we want that to pop, right? Yep. And then we're gonna make a T2 and we're gonna put it Probably right there. Yep, T2 right there, and I need wood to do that. I will go get it, but first we will do more security. Yep, doors locked, doors locked. We'll do this one next. Oop, didn't realize I did that, but that's okay. And we'll go... Yep, and uh, good, and then we will pop you... And we'll put you, yes, and then, yep, and just keep it, yeah, cheap, the only, the only real investment, I suppose, now would be the, Nope, th this is as cheap as and expensive as I want it to be and how much work and, and, and how little amount of work I want to do before it's finished. This is exactly what I want it to be. I'll do the roof I'll do the roof pancake and the the floor um, uh, uh, honeycomb, but that's it. that's and, and then and also a roof a rooftop up there. I want to keep it nondescript so they don't know who I am. I think. We actually use the front door as a stairway upstairs, and we have an outside approach through, like a like a room. So I guess that's another step. Yeah, that's a step that's got to happen. That door right there. Yeah, we want. Um, oh, that's got to be removed like right now. With no spies, I can do what I want. I can just sit here. Fucking awesome. Wait, I wanna. Wait, I wanna. Oh, you won't let me flip it. Oh well, it's okay. I don't care. And now uh, we yeah, uh, base looks awesome. Now uh, we're gonna. I guess put these things in a box. Okay, good. 
We'll go cheaper now, like cheaper loadout. That one that won't piss me off if I lose. Like that, and a bow, and some, you know, like not even a comp. Well, yeah, I'll bring a compound bow just because it's helpful, you know, whatever. But yeah, uh, yeah, and then yeah, we'll take 32 arrows and a shotgun, yeah, and we'll end anything else that I can find. Uh, jackhammer, I guess. Yeah, the jackhammer. That's cheap enough for what I want. And, um, oh no, I won't take the jackhammer out right now. I will take the salvaged axe somewhere and I will go fill the wood needs in the space. Oh, I need to make a door. And a lock. Yeah, like a lock. And, uh, there we go. Got enough metal to pay the upkeep. Gotta keep going. This will place, let me place it. Yep, good. As we get more metal, I'll do more doors and such. And we'll make a jump up here. And two metal shop fronts here. So I can just look out, right? And I'll remove this door. Because, well, I know I'll keep the door. But I mean, like, yeah, I'll just pop the door when I want to see out. And, uh, and, and, yep, and then I'll close it at night. And, uh, yep, and then we'll put two, two metal shop fronts here so I have visuals all the way outside the base at all times. Yep. And, uh, and then we'll do a, we'll do a cool rooftop thing. <laughs> I get the feeling these people are like, where is he? He's not logging on. It's pissing me off. I'm living my life. I'm done with your abuse, I told you. <laughs> Fucking rabies. God damn it. Wolf. Stupid, stupid rabies. <clears throat> Now the, now the base is fairly secure behind like four doors. It's, it's better than it was. It looks poor from this angle. Okay, so first thing we do is we dump this loot. There really wasn't anything there. It's annoying. And then we'll go out and I will look for a place to chop trees that isn't... and I'll just go over here and I'll chop trees that don't bother uh, don't don't give me away that's too far and this is it's good that these trees are so dense because it makes it harder to see the base we don't really want to hit these trees Yeah, this will do. We could come over here. This is good. These feet, this this whole clump right here. This will do perfect for what we need.
I don't know. It all helps to conceal me. That should be enough wood for now. Definitely. <laughs> now I need to die and go looking for mining points, but not, not while it's dark. time makes that noise that scares me it's so annoying I should kill myself. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, I think I will. <coughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take the rabies off me now. What if I know water pipe? No, I didn't research one yet. That's alright. Maybe I should just roll DB. Who cares? I mean, DB's nice, but it's... I think I, I, think I would prefer the DB with health over the... Yeah, over the one that doesn't. Mm. So, what else now? Uh, we could wire this place i suppose like, that's something i could do i guess i mean well yeah that is something i could do we could wire it so that tomorrow night is not as annoying light sort of gives away that the base is here at which point i might as well do the fucking like pr the protection of it and I should technically honeycomb this entire fucking base. But I mean, I don't care. Yeah, I'm not going out farming yet. I know that. So, let's see. We could run a I'll build up creepy fucking creepy as hell such good RP I really feel like I'm here right now it's actually really cool so do we do with the barbecue? I don't think it will fit. The T2 will need to go there, but I believe next to the T2 can go 
that. Yeah, T2 I think should fit right there. If not, I'll move the barbecue. And we will cook some wolf meat. Pig meat. Have ourselves a nice, nice evening barbecue here. Oh, how much cloth do I have? Yep, I will just do my base, and if they raid it, they raid it. It's whatever. The lights will make it stand out. Maybe I could just go incognito, huh? Do I have small battery? No, I don't. So let's do that. Oh god, I don't even have the metal to make a uh, research bench. Research bench. Research bench is 220 scrap here. Alright, so... No, that was a repair bench. I want a re research bench, which is... Yeah. Uh... Okay, I love that we're recording this in 24k and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah All we need to do now is find metal when the day starts Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the recap stream. But to get into the halls of Hall of Wisdom and Justice, they're in the courtyard in the back instead of in the front. Uh, like, a lot of the casting has stopped while we wait on the final scripts to come out, but we've voiced over, like, hundreds of characters, or how are the tile sets coming along? <laughs> we're working on one of the last exterior tile sets. So anything that you can think of that you want to know more about, we can answer that more clearly than generally, like, big how far along are you questions. This lady is dual casting paralysis spells. Yeah, but she's super effective. <laughs> Please don't hit me, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he hits you with She'll destroy you. Get good scrub. Yeah, also, um, as we said before, we are currently in the process of finalizing like the, the last overworld tile set here, so that, that I think is a bit of a giveaway of how far we are because we we are we are about to you know being able to, to finish the overworld, which is very big and exciting. That's cool. Yeah. One of the things that is always into the deep end of the pool here uh but it is 1.0 and on this that was scary for me <laughs> i love it and like chat was saying before it's like um held together with like sticks and clown semen uh how do you actually attack so I have the sword, 
I know in the original you actually had to like wave the mouse. Press F to ready your weapon. Z to ready your weapon. Oh no. Oh no. Someone can Yeah, you look over this and you're like, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> he immediately said it. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> This is why I don't play these old, old games. Uh, I guess I could do some of the production I need to do, I guess, sort of, I guess, but I'd rather just go farming, uh, I would say. See if this is somewhere where we can get to. the plane I do not see the drop at all so there's that so let's go take a hundred scrap to the bandit camp because I live here and get um, some enjoy out of uh Out of living at bandit camp before it's taken from me by some fucking, some fucking loser. Gonna take some scrap at the damn zombie zag road. Oh, just gonna go to the milk right now. We'll do a farming slash scrap run to Bandit Camp.
there's a base that I didn't know was there. If I were to look for minerals, I was supposed it would be out by snow. There's some. Fire, please. Two bases. Three bases. Three bases here. Well, now I know I'm not alone, or not alone. There's a road? I guess there's, oh no, those are zombies. Well, I hit him. Gee, I wonder what that is. Oh, oh god. Oh god, that, I thought it was mini heli. I was like, what? Well, whatever. Shit, there's like somebody living here. I did not know. Well, hopefully I remain unmolested. Don't shoot at me. I don't wish to be lit up. Is that his base too? Yeah, maybe. It's like so he can get from base to base and stop the stop the raid. He's got a he's got a kit in that base and he's ready to run up over the hill and just counter them if they're fucking with his main. Yep. And he's probably got like revolvers, probably like 12 revolvers sitting in there just ready to like blah 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 and anybody trying to blaze at him in his main. I didn't know somebody was living here, but there the way they build that does not bother me. It's not Millie. This sucks. Well, I don't have a tool to get wood. Oh, I, yeah, I, get, I can use a stone, I guess. I can't wait till somebody turns Rust into an RPG that's actually good. To turn the zombies into like things that you can melee that don't bite you and, and um That dish is close. Oh, got a runner. We got a runner. I've got seven left. I don't remember how many bullets you got in the mag. Okay, five left. I think a smart play would be to make a rock and rock a tree to make some arrows, you know, so I don't run out. Because. Well, we saw what we saw. We're at bandit camp now. Lots and lots of arrows. I don't know, like, yeah, a fuck ton of them. Yeah. It was such a good shot.
sure can's good. Better is good. I was make a uh, like yeah pickaxe. significantly left the road but I found metal which is really really good three in one place oh, give me two for please this won't be enough it's barely enough at 332 need more points need I'm gonna ding and that's really good because I need more points in mining it's so hard to get the metal that I need. Like, I don't know. Nine's good, but I need like four. I need 4k. I'll have to farm all of snow for a while, but it, um, if, I can, if I can stay close to the road, I can do that. Yes! What happened there? Oh no, what happened? What? I don't know, some kind of... It's kind of sound thing. I might crash and like get bit by a zombie now. It's annoying. Anytime there's got some kind of client problem, you get scared. I get scared of a DC or a, cra or a red, or like a red, co like a like a bunch of red text and then a crash. So there's a lot of nodes, a lot of them. Yep. Pretty good. Pretty good. See not a lot of nodes. There's one right there. Maybe I should worry about them right before they get to me. Close. They should die after like four hits. gonna break which is annoying here we go yep I wish I had that but yep nope and uh, yeah, put two more into this, and this gives me a nice 18% gain, which is good. Uh, it's not that much, but it's something. There we go. So we start with that. Here we go to this. Yep, 1500. Look, it's much, much better now. Much, much better now. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, much, much better now. I'm going to be able to, like, because of those two points, This that makes this trip so much more worth it. That's awesome. Now I should get the sulfur to do bullets to, to bring a real gun, which is nice. It's taking me a long time to get the points I needed to actually be functional. That was it right there, I'd say. It's still it's still a 0.5x, basically, but it's a little bit better. It's like a 8, it's like a 0.85x now. 
when I get up two more points, it'll be a full 1x, and that's when I'll be okay. okay. And then I get um, scavenging chart, which is the other problem that I have. All these barrels and almost no loot. Like, all these barrels and, look, two scrap. Two scrap a barrel is really bad. I mean, you need the points in other places. Like, if you want to build and get raided over and over and over again, like me and remain on the server, you need to be able to, like, build over and over again for very... I missed a metal node, and I'm going back because they're, they're that precious. Actually, that's on the way back, so we'll come. We'll hit that on the way back. It's all right. I miss using a jackhammer. It's, it's so much easier. Wow, this was like a whole glut of sulfur, like a lot of it. Which is good, because I would not mind, like, you know, having some bullets, some metal. That is a wolf. No, yeah, wolf, yeah. No stone. Oh no, here we go. Right here. <laughs> As I say it. Can't get lost. God, I, that's about the 4K that I need. Yup, yup. Let that brew. I should have fired up Eve and started mining long ago, but it's nice to focus on one game once in a while. Actually get something done to make sure the base is what it needs to be. Hot air balloon. Oh, not good. If he lands on me, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Can't let him see me. I mean, honestly, I could fight him. He doesn't know where I live. Need a bush or something. I don't see a good bush. It's gonna make sure I'm not apex with him. He's either new or looking for bases. Whatever it is, it's not really of my interest. I'm not I'm like too down with it. I don't want him landing on me. I'm gonna get out of here. Oop. Where'd he 
go? Where did you go? He landed, he landed. Oh no, wait, no. That that balloon's always been there. That that balloon was always there. Right? I missed the metal node, but I don't want to die. Did he land for the bandit camp, maybe? I can't tell if he lived. The, I think the balloon was always there. I'm fairly sure that balloon was always there. And he's crested over the hill towards that direction. It's just weird that I don't see him. They don't move fast. It's weird that it's just not in the air anymore. It feels like he might have landed. But I don't know. I know that I'm going to move. I'm going to move now. It got all fucky and weird suddenly. And it's like, eh. I have a lot of what I value loot, you know? value is loot. This is the road back to bandit camp, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, he didn't land and he didn't see me, I don't think, but still. I'd much rather just get home. I'm full anyways. It doesn't matter. I don't even want to go in the bandit camp. I left traces that I was here. He could see that somebody came to bandit camp and killed going down the road. Which kind of sucks, but eh. Oh. No. No. I don't think he saw me. Shit, is he, is he looking for my base? I think he is. I thought it might be landing here. I don't want to lose this metal. Oh, the balloon. It, it, it feel I feel like he just landed here. The mini heli buzzed him or something. Go, 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 go. I'm out in the open. Go, 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 go. I should have cover on the left side of me, not the right. Oh, god damn it. I'm totally open between them and them. And them and me. I feel like I get the weird spidery sense. Spidery. See, he's there. He's there. He's like there right now. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm leaving cover right i want cover for a while this is safe for a while my god you scared me you scared me so bad what's going on with that i gotta leave i gotta leave i'm like right in his squadron he'll, he'll pop right on top of me with an automatic weapon i know he will i'm gonna get out of here i have too much metal to lose to this oh god damn it getting i have to run across the open meadow to get to my base but at least i'm apex i think but there's all these dudes on the road which is a distraction maybe and we'll just maintain Apex. And, like, I don't know what the deal was with the balloon. He might be checking out my base right now. I'm going to pull out the the, gonna pull out the, uh, the double barrel and be aggressive about this. I got full health. Maybe I can win. Are you at my base is the problem. Oh, my God. The balloon's at my base. Yeah. There's the mini. Got to get in the door. Shit, did he see me? I don't think so. I don't think they can. Are they coming here? I don't know. What is going on? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so... Existing... We gotta load the furnace. Or I think the furnace is actually full. Cool. At least I'm in. My main thing is I don't want to lose the metal. There's some kind of fucking fight about to brew, I think, right by my base, which is weird. And I, I just don't want them to know I'm here. I really don't. I really relish that I don't, you know, I don't, don't, I don't think they know that I'm here. This will give me the metal to do the, the doors. I'll just sweep out with a shotgun if they fuck with me. I'm gonna definitely stash this, uh, 
This should, in case something sparks off, I want to be ready. I don't even want to, I don't even want to use a double barrel yet or, or a helmet. I just want, um, like a cloth head wrap. Yep. And some wood and metal for whatever, uh, for whatever, uh, yeah, yep, there we go, that's good enough. No, 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 I don't, I don't need, I don't need wood, metal, or cloth. Um, maybe some cloth, like, like, 36 cloth, yeah. And we'll make some bandages and go with a bow and see what we see, because, yep, and now I'm, I'm totally cheap. It doesn't matter if I die now. And we'll go see what the fuck's going on in my neighborhood, because it matters. It's fucking annoying, I'll tell you that. What's the deal with the balloon? What's the deal with the mini heli? Fuck you, Jackass is doing. What's with the balloon? Why won't it collapse? Need ape apex and trees. Perfect. They won't see me here. Or they might, but... What's up with that, man? What up with that? Is he gonna try and leave? If he tries to leave in the same balloon, we'll get him. It looks weird to me and I want to check it out. I think someone just landed at the bandit camp randomly. Box, but I don't think I can from this angle. No, I don't think you can. It's annoying. They should put a ladder right on the bottom of it for this kind of situation. That killed me. Fucking balloons are such garbage sometimes. That's okay. At least, uh, at least I didn't freak out about it. You know, it startled me, but yeah. in terms of like that being bad, I thought I saw fire for a second. Oh, I, I did because. Because the the chain the uh, the scarecrow popped, I've got to kill him or I'll catch a bite. I'm gonna pull out the uh, the suppressed shotgun for this. God damn it! Don't bite me. So got to do this suppressed. I don't want attention. Yeah, you and uh, you. You didn't bust my water water thing. What was that? What was that? I'm going to get my kids. Fuck this. If anybody's there, I'll fight them. What's going on? I want to sweep through Bandit Camp with a shotgun. If he's sitting up there gambling or something like that, I want to I want to waste him. I think he's going to spend some time here. This balloon, like it wasn't there when I left, right? It wasn't. Somebody somebody either was here or is here, and I want to go in there. And I think a pump shotgun can win it, but I got to take the suppressor off of it. I take the suppressor off of it. Yep. And then we're going to bandage up on the way there. I stay away from the edge of this balloon or I'll die. If we lose the pump shotgun, I won't cry, but it's the it's the weapon for the, the push that I'm doing, you know? It's the right weapon for it. Yep. Uh, high velocity, yep. What, what am I? Yeah, 32. Yeah, okay. I have too many bullets, but that's okay. Oh my god, that's a lot of... 
metal. I gotta remember that's there. Doing my approach, it's best up that. He has probably hasn't heard water yet. We just gotta check if he's in there, you know? We gotta actually maybe do it. It's like, what? Oh god, is someone here? Yeah, I'm here, motherfucker. I'm pushing you right now. Uh, if you're here, I'm pushing you. Uh, might be better to look. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know why I just misfired. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Should have put the suppressor on before I did anything. Whatever. Draw some attention to Bandit Camp, maybe. What happened here? I don't know, but I know that my bow's gonna break and I don't want to lose this pump shotgun, so we're just gonna leave. I wish I had the jackhammer, but I don't. Someone took a ride here. And they aggro the interest of the mini heli, who's hunting me. I think. I think the the mini heli is is actively here hunting me. I think Millie pulled a friend for the swipe, just to show me that he's not solo. And I think his name is Nori, and Millie hate Millie Millie and Nori sounds kind of the same. And I think. Uh, oh, what's that? Did I see something? No, it was the water the water thing. Oh. Just gotta be very careful here. Man, with no spies, it, it's like the places where I would normally get ganked are totally safe. They're like totally, it's, it's, it's totally safe. Like things that I would normally be like, oh, I'm, I would get, and, and so sure enough, the ganker would be there. Situations like that just aren't like that because they can't spy on me. I've been doing it wrong for two years or something like that. taking that but I, you know, I am feeling risque so we will be risque within reason we'll take yeah we'll take some that's even more than i need probably i don't know that's probably about right and so i won't feel sad about losing that that's all good everything else and then uh what else we're looking for a tool of the pickaxe variety not the jackhammer variety because the neighborhood is hot. Something's going on here and we don't know what. Uh, the metal's cooking, which is good. I should technically make another furnace now. I think I will make another furnace. Well, no, I don't have the fuel, huh? I don't have that fuel. What happened to all the fuel? Oh, no. Maybe I can add more metal now. Nope, this thing's taking ever uh so to what else we have yeah this is all good it's all good i don't know what happened to the helmet with the fuel in it but everything else is accounted for i want to learn that molotov and i want to put down a t2 uh which i suppose we could maybe do now no not yet but we will. Yeah, we're, 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 we're sitting pretty in terms of shotguns and such. Uh, I don't know. I want that suppressed and I want a stack. I'm going to take a stack. And if I lose the suppressed, I lose the suppressed. And when it gets low, I'll research it. Yep. Starting to look good. Starting to come together. I want, uh, like, a large battery, which means kind of, like, running the road. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go out and we'll seek mining points. And, uh, oh, yeah, there was, there was a couple of metal nodes on the threshold of Bandit Camp.
I've noticed that when I'm not streaming, it's so much smoother. I mean, it makes sense, but... I got a lot of metal. That's good. It really staves off the uh, the problems for a while. If I could find like two or three more, I'd be happy, and I don't have to think about it for a while. I kind of wish I had a way to do it faster, but that's all right. Apparently, the tree the tree cover is working to hide my base or the the mini heli would have would, would have buzzed me. I think I have a I have a good situation. They've got to do it on foot. Chances of them roaming, roaming the woods like that, I don't know, maybe. Someone will come to gas station, but they can't necessarily see my base. You know? I should have brought an axe. I didn't think about it. I'm learning. Zombies are much juicier now. Certain direct attacks, they pierce the dome, but some of the suppressed and stuff, even the non-suppressed, Takes a uh, shotgun rounds do not one shot their head anymore. You got to pretty much like stick the gun up in their face and unleash the entire thing. Might be better to shoot them in the chest now. I don't really know. Seems weird. Seems wasteful, but at least I can apply a suppressed uh, suppressor to the to the pump shotgun. I continue to work. The next thing that I kind of want is. I want to be able to fix my weapons because like this is kind of problematic how much like stuff it takes to actually kill a zombie the proto still kills them which is good oh what's this oh it's a wolf fighting zombies okay. 
I don't know, it's a lot of zombies for not having a bow. I better drop this stuff and let all that dissipate. I don't want to lose this pump shotgun. It's it's best served as base defense. This is my this is my best base defense weapon. Okay. Uh, hopefully, there's some metal in the furnace now. A little bit, just a little bit. Is that enough? No, but it's close. We'll leave the pump shotty with the suppressor off, and this is my base defense weapon. Base defense weapons will go in a box under the barbecue. Because, I mean, if I've lost this, this sector, I've lost the, I've lost the, the raid, so it will put all of the weapons in the base in one place so I can reach them. Yep, and all the ammo and everything. Yep. Weapons and, and all that. We'll, we'll take all those sort of weapons in the base. Yep. I'll take a bow out now since I have a fresh one, and that's okay with me. I don't mind that. And we'll bow our way through all the zombies and everything. I'll learn, I'll learn hunting bow better. Uh, get some food in me and some water. This box is going to go under the barbecue, I think. Yeah, it should be alright, and if not, I'll move it. Under the barbecue is going to be two protos and a shoddy and a pump. This will be my weapon box. Put some, take some ammo out so I don't have to scramble around looking for it. You know? And, uh... Yeah, how's that? And I need to research that, definitely. Uh, 2,000 stone, 4,000, yeah, a lot of stone, which is good. I suppose I could do some building. But also, like, already the wood seem, the wood that I chopped doesn't seem to be, like, very plentiful, so I don't know. I guess I'll chop wood one more time. Go out with, like, just uh, salvaged again. We'll get, a, we'll get a nice surplus of wood going here. Yeah, we're going to put that away. We're going to go cheaper now. I want a helmet on me just in case the sun sets and I get in some kind of situation. I want to go loot that um, mill crate. And I want to... Uh, yeah, and I want to chop trees, so we're going to look around for that salvaged axe, yep, and, uh, yep, and we're good, and we'll put that away, and we're going to go out, um, I'll get better at hunting bow, because I, I don't like having a dot on my screen ever anymore, I don't want to do that anymore, so... I'm not going to dot my screen anymore, which means relearning the weapons, but that's okay. A couple of years of having a dot definitely gave me a crush to understand how the game worked better, but now I don't need it anymore. I can, like, definitely shoot the hunting bow. It's fine. Just gonna... As I miss. I actually like it. It's kind of cool. You do the glint of the... You do the glint of the, of the tip of the bow... You think of it as a white dot, because it is a white dot. It's like a white dot. You think of that white dot as your cursor, and you can definitely cur you can definitely kill someone. I should spend a lot of time on Becker milk, but I mean, I don't know what that really means. I'd like, honestly, I want. I, I hope they bring. I you know I looked at a Shadow Frax video today. I think you guys watched that with me, yeah. Uh, and I saw what 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 was capable, what they're capable of, and and I want to um. I want a ooh laptop, not bad. I don't know where it's dropping those um the, the crates at. Oh my god, it's a P2. Wow, that's a good find for me. I don't usually find shit like that. That's good. It's really rare. This'll help. This'll be what I want to spend some materials on. Or well, no. I'll just throw a suppressor and a and a, a thing on this and I'll go out. 
with the laptop. Uh, or no, it's getting dark, huh? Yeah, it is. It's getting dark. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I want to... Uh, the P2 is good. I want to get it back. It's bad. It's good for base defense, you know? The prototype weapons are what I push with. For, like, I'm going to keep all these weapons for base defense. I'm going to go out with basic ass shit like double barrels and stuff. I will rock a double barrel. I don't care if it's loud. I bet double barrel kills zombies. I bet. Because it's loud. So, yeah. We'll, we'll, under the box, we'll put this P2 away. P2 away. And we'll also get all the ammo out that we have here. And we'll put it in the box. I don't have to go hunting for it, you know? Yep, and, uh, yep, and we got a nice double barrel there with the, yep, and we'll take a stack of bullets, and we are good in terms of that, oh, the bullets, um, yep, bullets, uh, and, yeah, we got bullets, 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 right, I should make another furnace, but cloth is a problem, I should maybe look for cloth and animal fat, and just see if I, I, I've been killing a lot of animals, I don't know why I wouldn't have, like, fuel and stuff, but I would, oh, I do, I do. I have a lot of fuel. So, okay, cool. We're going to make furnaces here. All the way. Do it all. Wood and stone. I didn't chop wood, but that's all right. Got the mill crate and pulled, pulled the P2. Super good. Yep, and I'll put the... Yep, I'll put the... Um, the, the yep. I'll sweep out with these guns, and I'll just automatic them in my first two attempts. And then I'll push out shotguns for my last two. And I imagine they'll probably come sooner or later. But that's okay. That's where Rust is. I just don't want spies when, when you know. I want them to I want them to do the work. You know. I'm okay with them, like, showing up at my base. I'm okay with it, you know. But do the fucking work. Like, do the work like everybody else to, like, get the kills. You know. It's like, like, they, they want to skip, they want to skip, you know, steps. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, show your fucking work, bitch. Maybe, yeah, like maybe a furnace. I don't know. Furnace right here might be kind of annoying. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're going to put the T2 there now that we have enough uh, metal and uh, high wall. Metal, high wall, and wood. Yep, and we're going to make a T2. This thing, oh, the scrap. There we go, and we go T2. It needs to be favorited. We want to make a T2. Work bench, bitch. Let's go. Okay, so. Now, uh, these I want to reskin. Yeah. And we'll do, yeah, something darker. While we're in here, might as well switch up and see if I can get an interesting skin. Maybe that'd be good. Oh, none for those. A nice black double barrel, maybe yeah, like that, and a nice black hunting bow. Yep. And can I reskin the T2? That'd be cool. Maybe I should reskin things. This will go black. This will go nothing. This will go nothing. This will go pure black, like that, and that. that and cool and there's a t2 and two furnaces and we're gonna take the wood that we've got and we're gonna recycle we'll do a recycling run but first we're gonna place you which fit perfectly by the way fucking perfectly perfectly and um then that'll go in there we've got to place these and i don't know where to put them I don't know if that is bad, but let's try it. And just see if I can squeeze through. Yep. If I can just get through it. Yep, this shouldn't cause me a problem. Nope. 
So we load this, yep, and we fill it with sulfur. 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 Half. 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 Burn. Then we come over here and we place another furnace right here. Furnace. Wood. We're going to take a uh, metal ore. Metal ore. Wood. Good, good. Uh, we'll do 16 high qual. Any other high qual or anything? No. Okay, and then uh, what else? We will continue on and burn this metal along with, well, let's take this and top off that. Right? Yep. And then we'll put you in there and we'll do this. And we'll top off you and we'll put the rest of this wood in the TC. And we'll go we'll go out shopping with the remainder of the day. Before before uh, before it gets dark, we'll try and get what we can get with a with a, with an axe somewhere else outside of like away from my base. Now, if they watch my video from yesterday, if they're smart enough to do it, I don't think they want to give me views on YouTube, and that's the thing. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. If you don't want to fucking give me use YouTube views, then don't learn about me then. Yeah. And, uh, Anyways, I want to chop wood where it won't affect me. Like way over here, maybe. Yep. Okay, we'll just briefly chop wood, you know. We'll get the building materials needed to. God damn it, the deer. night vision goggles it'd be good to buy them I wonder if they sell them at a uh, bandit camp maybe I don't think they do but maybe can't get lost I don't know why I can't see the gas station there it is I like nighttime more than daytime now 
when it's not when there's no spies you know when there's no spies nighttime's great when there is spies nighttime is fucking nerve-wracking just nerve-wracking because every shadow everybody everything jumps out at you when you know someone can see through your eyes and knows where you're at at all times like it totally like it totally changes things for me i'm like fucking paranoid all the time most engagements i just assume i'm gonna lose because they already have the the pre-knowledge that i'm there you know what what was that what was that what, what was that Uh -oh. oh, it's a zombie killing a pig? I can't see him. He's running too fast, that's fine. I don't want the zombie. I don't I'm lost now, it's too dark. God damn it, I gotta stay close to the the gas station. Maybe I don't put lights on my base any more than the furnaces, because it'll just draw them like moths to a flame. I don't know where it is in the dark. It's so annoying. I will get totally disoriented. Oh no. Well, that's the opening towards the gas station, but fuck knows where my base is from that. Now I know where I'm at again. Uh, where's my base? It's so dark, you can't even see it all. There it is. Let's do some construction. That'll be fun. Blah, 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 blah. And a BP and a hammer. Oh, you came, huh? It's so dark, you can't even see the goddamn drop. Wow. Well, if it wasn't right here, it wouldn't matter. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, man, it's so dark. Uh, just out of curiosity. <laughs> can, can I... Yeah, can I jump this T1? Yeah, and then go to the roof? Yes, I can. Cool. Well, oh, that's good. So, yeah, so we'll go blur, blur. I want to expand the front door. I don't want to chop any trees. I want to expand, I want to vision, oh, no, that was terrible. What the fuck was that? Bumping my fucking mouse, it's so annoying. It's because of the where, where the chair is situated. There. 